Hello everyone, it's Niven, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a game engine and it's available for free. Link is in the description, download it and follow along. Well today I am talking about how to make a room in CopperCube 6 and also I will be giving links to let's say programs outside CopperCube 6 which you can use to make interior architecture, houses and buildings. Well, first of all, let's start with what CopperCube can offer. Once again, I say this at the start of every tutorial. We have five main windows. We have Scene Graph Explorer, Properties, Prefabs and Textures and the main window. So to create a room, let's go to Scene Graph Explorer, click on Cube Mesh, delete and now let's go on to create and as you can see we have cube sphere cylinder cone plane camera terrain which we have done tutorial and create room when we press this small window opens up it says you can draw a 2d map of a room below when clicking on OK, a 3D room will be created for your 2D map. On the right, select the textures and wall floor types you want to draw. Now we have the main selection, which is in the center. We also have floor and walls, and we also have this button which says clear. Now this button clears the entire default image. And to clear this image, we press left mouse button and get close to the room and here it is we just press it and we keep it pressed while deleting this now let's create a floor we click on floor but before that we need to specify texture as you can see there is a window next to it we click on that and we say what texture we want well let's say I want this texture right uh, so we click on OK now those are default textures you can add a texture load a file which you know you save from downloading textures which I also went over and there are different links uh, and sites where you can go and download textures well let's do this with default settings so I chose the selection the texture and I clicked OK now we go on the uh, on the window and we start to create you know let's let's create something for example uh, let's create a room you know so once again you click on left mouse button and here it is one dot then you click next to it two three four or it's much easier if you click on it and just do this like paint like that so let's see we have a huge corner here let's do let's do something like over here and that's it that's what I'm going to create uh, let's make this room much bigger yeah this this looks uh, like something I don't know now let's go to the wall once again same with the wall we click on wall we click on texture we select the texture uh, for now I will click on this texture you know and click OK or once again you can load your own texture and now we create walls now as you know in 2d map there is a floor and walls should be surrounding it so we click on right here and here we created walls around this like that and oh we messed up but it's okay it's okay we oh we messed up again and oh so now you see I messed up I didn't do uh, the walls correctly now if I want to change that I go and click on clear and I clear those unnecessary walls which I've created like that and then we can click on OK but before that we should specify the wall height the ceiling texture and the ceiling type we have basically three two types and one which says no ceiling at all we have arch type we have a uh, flat type and we have no ceiling now for no ceiling what happens is that if we click on a no ceiling it creates a second floor which we can build 
upon this floor but let's just keep the first floor at this point so let's click on flats uh, ceiling texture let's choose um, I don't know let's uh, let's choose I guess this one maybe click OK and wall height let it be 1.5 for default and it, if we click OK here it is we have our room now to test out this room we need a character so we click on go to create camera 3d person shooter click OK and it creates our default camera now if we click on publish and test here we have our room which kind of looks all right it's not decent but uh, it looks all right and here we have different corners and stuff like that now why the room kind of looks uh, you know unpolished because as you know it all depends on texturing and lighting if we go to create and we pick point light it creates a point light and we attach this point light to the character as you can see we go to scene graphic floor we click on light and attach on camera and now what we can do is actually um, change the texture style of the room how do we do that we click on the room mesh and let's name this room we click on materials and we do not static light maps but dynamic and as you can see it creates much more realistic light now I will change some settings with the light let's see click on light uh, let's see 25 uh, and let's click on let's say yellow all right and now if you click publish as you can see it creates a different type of feel and it's it's more polished now if you want to go and do something more difficult and better looking as you know you can go to materials you can go to room materials and you can create uh, kind kind of uh, um, let's say something like this hold on now this looks like uh, this looks like um, reflective material yeah by the way if you if you want to match the reflection we should not click uh, this we should click the ceiling texture and as you can see now we will have a reflective material see this is a reflective material we also can click and uh, create reflective material on here solid fake reflective and click on this and we kind of have a reflective uh, room well once again I'm just fooling around basically this is what you need for creating um, room as you can see uh, the rest is depend the rest depends on you as always uh, what textures do you use what uh, type of lighting do you want you want a singular light like this or maybe you want to clone the light and you want to have you know some kind of like uh, uh, ref uh, the light in, in the room type of thing it all depends on you of course and if you want to improve your uh, mesh uh, as always you should bring normals and uh, create a normal map for uh, the textures as I said you can create room in copper cube 6 but I have other solution which is NCH software dream plan home design toolkit now this designs and builds different uh, not only landscapes but also it designs homes it has interior design it has trace mode and also pool design and as you can see you can scroll down and you can see there are different uh, available assets which are actually free and this program is free you can download it uh, it has a 30-day free trial it has all the appliances the furniture the lighting the plants the plumbing uh, it has also different library of textures once again you can use and it has different models viewer but once you create uh, models inside this toolkit you can actually export those and bring it to your own game and for this 
purpose, you can create a model of a house inside this program. That was it for today's tutorial. Thanks everyone for watching. And as I say, and actually give advice to everyone, Everything depends on your own reference. And as a game developer, I would say if you want to create something which is interior, a house or a room, you should definitely use a toolkit which is external outside of Copper Cube 6. Although I might say that I have created a game which was all done in Copper Cube 6. I've actually created rooms which were done using this uh, mm, toolkit, Copper Cube 6 toolkit, which is available, the room creation, and it was actually decent, it was not bad. Although, once again, if you want to improve the quality of the game design, uh, you should definitely use an external link. Of course, there are other different, uh, much more advanced uh, programs like Blender and Maya, and um, uh, I, I don't remember which ones else, like everyone uses Blender and Maya, I think. But I gave you a great example today in today's tutorial. Link is in the description as always. And uh, yeah, you can go and create and uh, brainstorm and research and just have fun. That's my main advice. Just have fun and enjoy. Once again, thanks everyone for watching and have an amazing day.